A man busy at work putting the final finishing touches on work that he hopes will impress the client. Even though this may seem like child's play, this is a multi-billion industry. These employees work for Moran Creatives, a branding agency. The company specializes in retail and corporate branding. The enterprise also deals in signage and graphic design. Moran Creatives is the brainchild of Lucas Kibuchi. Starting Moran Creatives was an idea that came up after looking for a job for a very long time. I remember back in between 2014 and 2015, I wasted like a whole year trying to look for a job and there was none, you know, there was no one to employ me. So I decided, let me use my skills and come up with something. Yeah. So it was back last year in October that I was actually sleeping in the house, broke. I didn't have anything. I actually had a hundred bob in my pocket. So I decided to go to town. Uh, so I went and uh, I met up with a friend who had a cyber on Tomboya Street. So I talked to him, told him of my situation, and then he agreed to lend me a small space at the back of the cyber where I could start my business. And that's where Moran Creatives was born. Having worked as a sales representative for the butter shoe company, Lucas craved for the independence that entrepreneurship could afford him. Two of the biggest factors that push employed people into the world of entrepreneurship are being their own bosses and the flexibility it gives an individual. Uh, the reason I went into entrepreneurship, I was looking for the, I had a passion, and I was also looking for the freedom to do my own things. You know, because you know, in employment, you're bossed around, you're told do this, meet these deadlines, and then you're working for somebody. And then the amount of money that you're getting paid, it's very little. So it's not enough to sustain your lifestyle, you know. So I had to come up with something. Uh, that's why I decided to go into entrepreneurship. However, Lucas and his company would face multiple challenges from day one. After bagging his first ever client, Lucas admits that he was ill prepared for the project. I was naive. I was new in the industry. I had not done any branding job, uh, job before. So I remember when I got my first client, I had to rely on friends, call somebody, ask him, oh, how, how do you do this, how do you do this? Yeah, it was one, that was one, one of the challenges. And also number two was capital. You know, starting a business with no capital, it's actually one of the biggest challenges. I remember in my first job I maneuvered, and I happened to convince the client to give me a small deposit of 50%, which uh, funded the job. After I completed the job, I got paid the rest of the money. And from there, that's when I started. I bought a computer. Yeah, and that's how I went forward. Although Lucas may have been ill-prepared for his first ever project, he ensured that he and his employers performed the perfect job. Since then, the branding agency has worked with hundreds of clients from various industries. I was actually quite surprised because things turned out the way I didn't expect. Number one, I didn't want to show the client that I'm new in the industry, that he's my, actually my first client and that was a corporate client. So after we, we were done with the job, he was actually very excited and he commended me a lot and that opened ways to getting other jobs. Lucas is a graduate of Management Information System from Zetec College. With those qualifications, Lucas' family hoped that he would get a well-paying job. His decision to start his own venture was a bitter pill to swallow for his family. As Lucas explains, this has more to do with how people in Africa have been cultured. You know, they understand that uh, being self-employed, maybe it's like opening a shop somewhere and selling things. Now they were asking me, what are you going to do when you're self-employed? Are you going to print business cards, flyers? But the thing that people don't understand is uh, the small, the little money that you're getting from that, the five shilling that you're getting from that single business card. Uh, if you get like 100 clients in a month, each client taking like 100 or 200 business cards, 
that's around uh, 20,000 and it's enough to pay for your house rent. Yeah, so that's how we survive. So, how exactly does the branding process work? Ah, okay, there are a few processes involved in the, making the sign. First of all, we have to come up with the artwork. After we've come up with the artwork, we have to make it like in the exact size that the client needs. And then we have to use a machine called a router. But the router is what we use in cutting the signs. It's a machine actually. It looks like a drill, but it's what cuts the machine round, the sign round. And then the other materials that you need is, a, it's called a Seluka board, uh, 20 millimeters thick. And then you need a Perspex. It's a plastic um, which has the color of the client's logo. So the router cuts the Perspex and the Seluka board into that shape. Once the shape are together, once the shape are cut, you mount them together. Yeah, and that's how the sign is made. So you have to cut each letter by each letter. Like many new age startups, Moran Creatives mostly uses social media to market its products. Social media is perceived as one of the most effective marketing tools among business leaders and startups looking to grow can utilize this method. Mostly we use Facebook. We've actually been using Facebook from the start even now. Yeah, because every time we have guys on, uh, I have a social media manager, he's always on Facebook answering clients, you know, making appointments, uh, taking project specifications. Uh, you see, the thing with social media, it's actually the cheapest platform that it's actually available for marketing. Apart from that, uh, word of mouth, you can reach a bigger crowd using social media. You know, uh, like in Facebook, you don't have, it's not necessarily that you pay for a post. You can just share it, people get views, and then they'll call you. More creatives and other startups are turning to social media due to the type of clientele they are targeting. I chose to do corporate branding because um, I discovered a niche in the market. There's no that uh, middle level branding company for the middle level guys. Like if you look around the companies that do branding, you know, we have the big established companies. So we have some clients who are not comfortable. You know, they actually fear approaching those big companies because maybe their pricing is higher. So they rely on guys like us. Entrepreneurship has not been smooth sailing for the self-taught branding expert. As with most startups, the businessman encounters numerous challenges on a day-to-day -day basis. One of the main challenges uh, is a lack of equipment. Like you see, most of the machines we have to outsource. And if you decide to buy like every machine, you know, some are very expensive. So you can't afford getting all of them. Another challenge, obviously, is finances. We are not well off that stable. And we ha if we have a client, maybe you have a big project and you're not willing to give us that uh, small deposit that we need, Sometimes it's, it becomes a challenge. Another big challenge is uh, we have the big guys who have been in the industry, in the branding industry. Like when we are tendering, we are making tenders. Uh, we stand a uh, maybe 60, 40 chance of getting the contract. Due to this impediment, Lucas does admit there are days he feels like winding and closing up shop. However, as he explains, passion and motivation will always trump feelings of indifference when things are not going right in a business venture. There are a lot of times that I've thought of giving up, plenty of times. Because sometimes you can even go for like two months without business and you have bills to pay, you have an office, you have a family, a house. But what motivates me is that uh, I have some mentors I follow them, I see the challenges that they've uh, gone through in their business, you know, and that keeps my spirits high. And I'm hopeful that uh, one day I'm also going to make it that big. The venture currently has four employees. Nevertheless, with Lucas hoping to position more creatives as the leading branding agency, he hopes to employ many more young people. Lucas charges between 1,000 and 1 million Kenyan shillings for his services. Price is determined by the intensity and time taken on a specific project. Moran Creatives, we are 11 and a half months old. 
So we are expecting in five years, because right now what we do is, uh, like in signage, we have to outsource some machineries from outside. So we are hoping in a, in a period of, let's say even three years, to have bought our own machineries, to be producing our own signs. You know, we don't have to rely on uh, right, others. We also want to establish ourselves as a, one of the leading branding agencies in Nairobi, maybe East Africa. So what advice does Lucas Kibuchi have for aspiring entrepreneurs? If you are young and you have an idea, just go ahead and get started. No, it's not a must you have capital. You don't need to have a sponsor. You don't, you, you don't even need to have a mentor. No, if you have an idea, immediately get started. The others will come later. If you don't have funding, you can talk to people, you know, network. Talk to guys, tell them I have this idea. Finally, you might get someone who uh, might fund you.